The MFM Cardiology Joint Program began uh, last year in 2015, and what motivated its formation was uh, two things. One is when I, I started working here in 2012, after completing my fellowship training in Los Angeles, California, uh, where I saw cardiac patients in pregnancy. Um, upon beginning my work here at Montefiore, my first week I was in the CICU, the Cardiac Intensive Care Unit, and immediately connected with the cardiologists here at Montefiore in caring for a very sick patient who was pregnant. And at that time I spoke about the idea of creating a program whereby we both saw the patient together. And it took us a few years to make it happen. Um, at the end, in January of 2015, in our Obstetrics and Gynecology National International Journal, it was reported that the number one cause of maternal mortality in the United States no longer was hypertension in pregnancy, no longer hemorrhage or infection, it's cardiovascular disease in pregnancy. Worldwide, it's hemorrhage, but in the United States of America, it's cardiovascular disease in pregnancy. So this really, this report really brought us, our idea to an acceleration to, to make it happen. Adult congenital heart disease. So um, you recently heard from Dr. Zadie that there are more women who are being corrected in their younger years so that they survive to reproductive age and choose to have family as they should. Um, so we're caring for more women of reproductive age who were born with adult congenital heart disease. There's also um, women with something called cardiomyopathy, which presents at the last part of pregnancy and entering into the postpartum period, not caused by anything else, but the fact that they are peripartum, it's called peripartum cardiomyopathy, um, we see much of that. There are some theories. We don't, you know, we don't exactly know what causes it. We do know, the theory is that there is some kind of inflammation, inflammatory response to pregnancy. We don't really know who's at risk. There are some ideas of, of which populations are at risk, but there's really not a concluding factor, which is scary because we don't know who, there's no way of us pinpointing which patient is going to develop this. Um, that being said, there have been some studies that have come out of other institutions close by that have found some genetic factors involved. So there are some genes, there are some families where cardiomyopathy of pregnancy is prevalent. Um, so if you have it in your family, perhaps you'll be followed closely. But other than that, it comes really unexpectedly. Unfortunately, some patients, their heart function does not recover. And some patients end up with heart transplants or death, unfortunately. Whereas other patients, their heart function will fully recover but they have, to, they have to be followed very closely by a cardiologist and frequently, not just three months after pregnancy, but up to one year, sometimes up to five years, depending on what happens with their cardiac function. Yes, yes, we've had quite a few, um, some with very positive outcomes and one patient in particular that I can think of who was newly diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, I was taking care of her um, before her delivery for other high-risk issues. Um, she has asthma, she had high blood pressure, and um, she delivered at, our, at Montefiore, she did just fine, and she called me about a week after giving birth crying, saying, I'm in the hospital. She wasn't admitted to Montefiore. She was admitted to a hospital that was um, near the where she lived. And she was in heart failure at, a, at another hospital. 
and uh, was taken care of just fine there. But we followed her, I I it's more than a year now after her delivery, and she needs a heart transplant. Her heart did not recover despite the best management, the best combination of medications, and uh, they've tried uh, inserting a device to, to help her heart function, but that hasn't worked. And now she, it's looking like she may have to have a heart transplant. That I, I'm, I think is pretty positive that she will. Um, and hopefully it'll, it'll prolong her life because she now has five children you know, to look after. And so I really am hopeful 